Hello everyone. We were discussing about different types of trade. In the last classes we have discussed about internal trade or domestic trade or home trade. Then we have discussed what is domestic trade and what are the different types of domestic trade. We have seen wholesale trade, retail trade. Then we have compared retail trade and wholesale trade and what are the benefits or what are the services provided by the wholesale trade, trader to the manufacturer and retailer. Then we have discussed what are the benefits or services provided by the retailer to the manufacturer and wholesaler and to the customer. Then after that we have discussed uh, this departmental stores and multiple stores and the difference between department store and multiple stores. And today we are entering another classification that is called as international business. International business. What is international business? We have discussed what is national trade or home trade, domestic trade domestic business. Here we are discussing international business. We have studied what is business, business buying or selling or exchange or exchanging value of money. Isn't it? So that happens between the parties of uh, two different countries. That means if the buyer is in one country and the seller is in another country, that is an example of international trade or we can sell at international business. Various forms of international business are there. There itself, international trade is there where we either import the goods from a foreign country. If we import the goods from a foreign country, the buyer will be in our country or our home country and the seller will be in foreign country. On the other hand, if we export the goods or export trade, in that case, the seller will be a citizen of a home country and the buyer will be uh, from a foreign country. So that is international business, international trade. So like that international business is there, so various business organizations, now we can, nowadays we can say that because of the effect of globalization, we can see many business organizations entering into the field and are crossing the boundaries of the nation and transacting business in a worldwide scenario. So that is an example of international business. So here what we can say about international business is simply we can say that international business is a business which is done uh, by considering or in many countries of the world. If a business organization transacts its business in many countries, that is an example of international business. Okay, nowadays we have we know that it is called as global market. Market is global, not limited to a particular country. If a business goes beyond the boundaries of a particular country, or if a business goes beyond the boundaries of its own country, that business is an international business. And in our country we have, we are getting many products produced by many foreign companies for business organizations. So that is the effect of international business. So in international business we will get, we, we can use products produced by various foreign countries that will be available in our country and the products produced by our own business organization can be sold to any other country. There is no limit for that. That is the speciality of international business. So if a business does an international business, what will be the challenges it faces? There is challenges are there, especially in the case of customers. Customers are heterogeneous in it. Difference, various differences are there. In a country, almost the nature of the customers may be same, but in different countries, the nature of custom uh, or their attitude, their likes, dislikes, everything will be different. 
then language, currency values, everything will be different. Political con condition will be different. Isn't it? So, in an international business, the stakeholders of the business will be the citizen of different countries. The buyers and sellers will be the citizen of different countries. So, that much challenges will be there to face for an international business. Okay. So, in this class, we are going to discuss what are the benefits of international business. What are the benefits of international business. Benefits of doing international business. International business brings benefits both to the nation and to the business itself. So we can say that there are two types of two categories. Benefits are two parties are there getting benefits from international business. One the nation and the second one is the business. Let us see what are the benefits to the nation. Benefits to the nation or benefits to the country. See, due to international business, we can say that we can earn, nation can earn foreign exchange. So, earning of foreign exchange. In a simple sense, we can say that a country will get income from foreign company. Suppose that a company, business organization established in India is doing business from business in a foreign country or in many foreign countries. So the business gets the income and that will be invested in the business in our country. Isn't it? Whatever income the business gets from foreign countries will be uh, diverted or driven to the to our country. Isn't it? So it will be those income will be tagged into our country and can be used for the development of our nation. So any foreign exchange is one of the most important benefits that a nation enjoys because of international business. Then we can say that more efficient use of resources. More efficient use of resources. How we can say that international business helps to use resources in an efficient manner because if there is no chance of international business, these business organizations have to uh, they have to do the business inside the geographical boundary of the country. That means in the home country itself. So there will be lot of competition, same type of many business will be there. So uh, the market will be less and the quantity of products should be produced should, will be less and the earning also will be less. Since the production also will be less. So since the production and you, production and its uh, what, utilization of resources, since the production is less decreased, the resource utilization also will not be there up to that much extent. That means resources will not be fully utilized. Now, there is chance of international business. International market is there. So a business can go out to the international world or international level. There, there are a lot of or wide market area is available. Unlimited extent of goods can be produced and sold in the foreign market. Since they can produce large number of goods and sell that in the foreign countries, so what can be done? The resources, available resources with the business can be utilized in its fuller manner. That means fuller utilization of resources is possible. Either in the case of labor or finance or uh, what are the other factors of production, land, labor, capital, everything can be utilized in a maximum extent or the optimum way by reducing the waste because chances are there to produce more. 
demands demand is there more. So more efficient use of resources is possible. That means throughout the day or through, throughout uh, the business can run, throughout the year business can run without any stoppage of production because that much demand will be there. So since there is no stoppage or lagging in production process, there will not be uh, lack of proper utilization of resources. Resources will be utilized in this optimum. Okay, so more efficient use of resources will be possible. And we can say that improving growth, improving growth prospects and employment potential. So, improving growth prospect and potential of employment or employment potentials. See, we have seen that in an international business, for an international business, the demand will be more, there will be wider area of market, more quantity of products can be produced. So, that will result for the growth of the business organization. Chances are there more to produce and the earning will be more. So in that way the business can grow step by step. So if the business grows, there will be a chance of more employment. More employees will be appointed. More uh, efficient employees will be appointed. So that business, international business gives employment potential to the nation. More employees and opportunities will be developed because of international business. And we can say that Increase the standard of living. If there is chance of more employment, standard of living of the people in the country will, will be uplifted. It will be increased. Not only that, here the people will be getting chance of using international products or the products having international standard. So they will be getting an opportunity to use what a qualitative products and the, uh, the chance of exercising their choice is more. So they can select the best product uh, in the comparatively lower cost because no more competitors will be there producing and supplying the same products. So in that way they, their standard of living will increase. Because employment opportunities will increase and will get the chance to use sophisticated or qualitative products for their consumption products. So these are the benefits enjoyed by the nation because of international trade or international business. Then what are the benefits to the business? What are the benefits of international business to the business permit? That means the business which is going internationally. Okay. So we can say that prospects for higher profits. Prospects for higher profits. Chance of getting more profit because there will be more amount of sales, more demand will be there, market will be more, the wide area of market will get, that means market will be open even outside the boundaries of the country. Global market can be accessed, so the profit earning will be more because sales will be more. Then increase the capacity utilization that we have already told. Increase in capacity utilization. That means capacity will be utilized in its maximum. There will not be any production lag. There will not be any close down of the factory because of low demand. Here the demand will be more. So continuous production will take place. 
and the capacity to be utilized in its fuller manner. Okay, then there that means every time production maintains price because of the demand in the world wide. So uh, it increases the capacity utilization of the business and prospects for the growth. That means if the firm gets more profits, if the firm utilizes its capacity in its full manner, there is no doubt that business can grow, isn't it? So international business will help the business organization to grow in a better height, isn't it? Because the demand for the goods will be more, the market is wider, so uh, the business can grow by getting more and more revenue and it's what wealth, wealth will be maximized. Okay. Then next we can say that it's a way for the business organization to uh, go out to the uh, go out from the domestic market or the intense competition in the domestic market. So we can say that way out to intense competition in the domestic market.